12-0 and in back-to-back seasons. That's what we love to see, boys. All right, how's everybody doing? JT Productions here. and Georgia wins against Georgia Tech in the clean, old-fashioned hate rivalry. 37-14, to I believe. And it was not pretty, to say the least. I don't know what it's been over the last two games. We came out not been able to tackle well. We haven't been able to move the ball well it, through the air at all. The game plan was to try to, well, at first it was trying to get it to the perimeter, but Georgia Tech, I'll give props to them. They were able to sniff that out. They had a good game plan against us in the first half. But our athletes just out-athleted them, pretty much. Uh, Stetson didn't start out well. Uh, there was some questionable officiating throughout the game. But, I mean, that happens in any game. you got to overcome that, which we did. The running game was pretty good. Kenny McIntosh had a big run, and he had a couple of uh, sustainable gains. So did Dejon Edwards. Kendall Milton even did. He's gotten back to having some good runs. We didn't see a lot of Branson Robinson but in garbage time, but since Kendall Milton's back, I guess that's why. We just got a stable of running backs. Stetson, even with the slow start he had, he, he had some good throws. Uh, he also had some good runs. Uh, one that should have been a touchdown, which they, did, they called it back. They called it down at the one. Uh, but yeah, besides that, receivers looked good. There was no, not any crucial drops. <clears throat> Offensive line did well blocking, uh, near the second half. First half, there was some leakage with Georgia Tech getting some pressure in the backfield and Stetson on that one quarterback draw Stetson was going to do. Besides that, looked fine. Defensively, the first drive, we were horrible. Uh, just them being able to break tackles, get good runs on us. That quarterback, uh, I forgot his name, but he had that one really good throw to McCollum in the, on the slot fade that beat Javon Bullard. And then on the touchdown run, the first one, heck, the half the linebackers didn't even look at the quarterback, which everybody but them, I guess, knew he was going to run because he ran to the end zone and there wasn't a bulldog, there wasn't a red jersey in sight for about five yards away from him. But after that, we started shoring that up and by the end of the game, we were able to shut them down pretty much. The other touchdown was on a fluky uh, halfback pass play that they got a touchdown on to McCollum again. Or it wasn't Malachi Carter, I don't remember. But yeah, that's pretty much it. We should stay number one in the rankings. If they put Michigan at one, I I just don't see why they would. They did beat Ohio State, but I mean, Georgia's also beat Oregon and Tennessee. So I'd still put Georgia at one. Still have them at one. That could just be Georgia biased. But why would you switch up unless something drastic had happened, like Georgia having a close win against Georgia Tech, why would you switch up the rankings now? <sighs> Anyways, Pod Lesney did good today. Punting, we did fine. But yeah, another crucial victory. Next up, we'll head to Atlanta, take on the 9-3 and three LSU Tigers. And let's keep the winning streak going. Hope y'all have a great day and go dogs.